Hey YouTube, I'm back. So stay tuned if you want to know how to what? Dust your ends. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and dust my ends. Um, I was going to dust right this second because I just finished braiding up my hair when I remembered, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, science of black hair. Actually, I need to let these dry. So I'm going to go ahead and let these dry overnight, and then I will dust them in the morning. <gasps> so anyway... You guys won't see the lapse time, so see you in the morning <laughs> when I'll be dusting my hair. Hey guys, I'm back. So I have my book out, as you can see, Science of Black Hair, which I love. And you guys, if you haven't followed my Science of Black Hair book review series, you really need to just right after this, go get started on it because this book is so amazing. She has from page 160 to page 165 where she completely dedicates to everything trim. She goes over in the book exactly why, you know, how to trim if you're natural, how to trim if you are a relaxed girl, different methods you can do, etc, etc. Anyway, so let's get started. Um, the one thing that she does say on page 165, is, which is what I'll be doing, is she does say that self-trimming natural hair is simple. First, shampoo and condition the hair, style the hair in several braids or large two-strand twists, air dry the hair, or use a low heat to dry. Then simply trim the very tips one-fourth inch or less from each twisted or braided section. Trim any longer hairs on each twisted section that do not readily fit into the bulk of the twist or the hairs that simply taper off. Okay, so that's the one that I'm going to be using for my... Um, hair. So anywho, let's go ahead and take this thing off. These are the sections that I have. I'll spin real quick just so you can see the back. Scissors, hair scissors, not just any scissors, and that they are sharp. You should never use your scissors except to cut anything but your hair. Don't cut paper, don't cut packages open, don't cut anything, don't cut tags off of clothes. These are just for your hair and you want sharp scissors. Very sharp. When they stop being sharp, get another pair. And you don't have to spend like super duper a lot of money on them. You know, you're not like this hairstyles that needs like $300 scissors. Just go to like a beauty store and buy actual hair scissor shears. Don't use regular scissors. They must be hair shears, okay? So anyway, I'm gonna lean in. See, there's a little bit of just straggly hanging right there. We're just gonna dust that bad boy. Now, I'm going to take it, oh, well, let me make sure I have a camera. I'm going to take it to right here. And that's it. That may seem like a lot, you guys, but really that was just part of probably some that pulled down. That's just that. So you just go along, same thing. As you can see, it's, hope you guys can see it. Okay, yeah. I'm just really dusting. Okay, so you guys get the concept. And some of these really don't need that much trimming. Yeah. And then I just take it and add it to the clip so I know that I've done it. Hair trims are an important part of a healthy hair care regimen. By removing the old ends that are frayed at the bottom from wear and tear from styling, it helps to reduce the friction among the strands as you style and manipulate your hair thus reducing breakage and allowing you to retain length better. If you find it very difficult to detangle your hair and it's catching and snagging too much, it's probably because you need a trim. I let my hair do the talking. When it's too difficult to manage, it usually needs a trim. Okay, you guys, I know you may think it's gross, but this is how much I cut. As you can see, the only one piece that I cut a lot of was this one, on that one strand. But the rest of this is just dust. It's just like... You see how much of a little nip it is? It is just not that much hair. You can sweep all this together and it's not even any hair. Like, what is that? Like, to give you an idea, it could fit inside the little thing of my scissor. <laughs> so anyway, that's what a dust should be. Just dusting off this so that your hair won't tangle and it won't, um, you know, catch and cause breakage and stuff like that. Alrighty, so please thumbs up if this was helpful. 
Um, you guys, I hope it was. The link is going to be coming up. And also make sure you join my Hot Caster Hair Growth Challenge. Lots of love. Please share the videos, you guys. Please subscribe. Oh, and you guys, please support my Healthy Hair Riddles Facebook um, channel. Please go there. Take a moment. Um, like it. If you have any questions, you can post them there too. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, lots of love. Gotta go. Bye. Hey YouTube, stay tuned. This episode is going to be about protective styling and hair trims and when to trim your hair, how often to trim your hair, and everything good in between. We are going over pages 143 through 167 of dun, 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 The Science of Black Hair by Audrey Davis Salasati. So stay tuned.